Hello and welcome Battle Forge community to another PvE video and today I want to uh, cast a contest winning replay um, because there has been a community challenge uh, which was about clearing our PvE level 1 map of the month as fast as you can. There have been over 130 entries overall and um, you can also just watch the, the results um, in terms of clear speed uh, for the placements over here. Um, and yeah, I will just cast the top one run here that uh, was played by Arabica, who did a really nice strategy that was also included in all top three runs. Essentially, all of them utilized the same strategy. This one was the cleanest execution. And just taking a look at the cost camps because that replay is pretty short, very, very easy to clear. Um, you will utilize the mind spell to clear them. And this camp is pretty much the mo most deciding one with two bandit bounces. We'll see that later on. Um, and yeah, bandit vanguards, launcher, that is not that much of an issue. Uh, but if you want to do it clean, you need to add to the mind sp spell placement, right? So, uh, let's get into the replay. Why would we see the Sandra start? Uh, essentially because it can just run around the entire map without stopping at any certain point. Um, this is something that you cannot do with Nomads. That is something that you cannot do with a Scavenger. Um, and the Sandra will be very important later on to clear those towers. So, it's uh, starting here. You will see the first mine. Um, and essentially you ignore the camp. Uh, just walk around and go to the next camp, play as a mine do the same so this is pretty much straightforward you just need to make sure those to place those mines so nothing survives um, not that difficult you can do that cons consistently most of the time so since the mine cooldown is not up over here you cannot place it over there but you can place it behind the camp since you just walk to the left they will chase you they will walk into this mine uh, and die regardless and uh, this is the next camp here. Um, it is very important to place uh, the mine at the right time. So it hits all those units and all of them end up dying. Spawning sun striders forward here. And this will be the most important camp. So this was pretty much straightforward. Um, this mine placement is important to kill all those units here. But now this camp here is really annoying. Because this bouncer, like, if you if you walk up with the Sandra from here, this bouncer will, bouncer will run around this corner here. And if you place the mine, it will be unaffected. Sandra gets the seed, run is ruined. Um, second thing is you want to um, utilize your sun strategies in a way that they tank uh, the bouncer away or, or just lure, lure them away. Well, this Sandra just attacks this building over here. And uh, if you do this timing wrong, you might just have this bouncer turn around, attack the Sandra, get the seed, run is over. So it's very, very important to use the sun strategies here to to kind of pull this camp to the left, place the mine, use those sun striders to deal a little bit of extra damage, which will be important, um, but we'll see that later, and make sure the Sandra is not getting attacked. And this is what Arabica does here, gets it to position here, attacks the tower, so ideally the Sandra requires a little bit of less, one, look at this, this extra damage was so important because it just saved the Sandra from dealing one extra hit. He would have required an extra hit to take down this tower, which saves the crucial seconds over here. So you can place the mine down there. Um, also very important to get this placement right. Um, ideally you want to hit this uh, tower, but you also need to make sure that those vanguards die because that's very inconsistent. And that's the run. Um, I think, a, well, pretty short replay obviously, but um, for anyone who participated in the contest, it might be interesting to see how the winning strategy ended up working. Um, so, hope you enjoyed the replay, thanks for watching and uh, goodbye.